Yo, what's cracking everyone? It's your man, Mr. Fomer Simpson, and you know what time it is. You know why I'm here. It's time to pick the best sneakers of 2015. These are only the shoes that I was able to get, so keep that in mind, and let's get right into it. Number 10, the Nike Air Presto Island Blue. I really dig these, obviously. No hype on this shoe whatsoever. Sitting on shelves as we speak, but very dope nonetheless, and I like this colorway a lot. I'll throw a link in the description for anybody who wants to grab a pair. Number nine, the Li Ning Way of Wade 4 Liberty. I was a big fan of the Way of Wade 1 and 2. I did not like the 3 at all, but this is easily the best model thus far. And this colorway is crack. These are good on court, but they're even better casually in my opinion. I rock these all the time. Number eight, the Saucony Grid SD Cushwhacker by Sneaker Freaker. Sneaker Freaker teamed up with Saucony and hit a home run, which is no surprise because that's what Sneaker Freaker does. They're like Mark McGuire when he was juiced out of his mind. Nothing but home runs. The Bushwhacker they did a few years ago was amazing, and these are even better. Quality, colorway, everything about these is cash. Number seven, the Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard. The quality on this shoe is next level. I mean, as far as Jordans go, this leather is ridiculous. It's like they took this leather off a cow who bathes in warm cocoa butter. It's that soft. Number six, the Jordan 6 Maroon. Until this year, these had not released since 1991, which is when they originally did. So it was really cool to see them come back out. Burgundy is also my favorite color. So it goes without saying that these were a must cop. Just a classic, classic look. Number five, the Adidas Yeezy 350 Boost Turtle Dove. Everything Yeezy touches is hyped out of this world. That goes without saying. The 750 he did earlier in the year was cool, but not really my style and nowhere near as dope as the 350. Yes, the 350 is similar to a Roshi, which is a model I also like. However, these are much better. By the way, if you have not tried Boost Technology, you are not living right. Number four, the Asics Gel Sight Pacific by Ronnie Feig. Some people may be a little surprised by this pick, but this shoe is sensational. These were kind of slept on as far as Ronnie's go anyway. They shouldn't be. I love the color blocking. It's a great model and the materials are just stupid. Number three, the Jordan 5 Supreme Camo. This is a sneaker you love or hate. I don't think there's really an in-between of course, because it's Supreme, the hype was crazy. I liked them from the moment I saw pictures. I don't know why, I just liked them. And in hand, they're even better. Number two, the Diodora N9000 Purple Tape by Raekwon and Packer Shoes. These pay homage to Raekwon's album, only built for Cuban links, an absolute classic, the infamous Purple Tape. And this might be another pair people are surprised to see but they executed these perfectly. I'm telling you in hand, these are bananas. 2015 was a great year for Diodora, and this was by far my favorite pair they released. Number one, numero uno, drum roll please. The Adidas Ultra Boost, yes sir. One of the best sneakers of all time in my opinion. That's right, I said it, all time complete game changer it's a great silhouette and the comfort is out of this world by far the most comfortable shoe i've ever worn i love this sneaker if i had to wear one shoe every day it would be these without question and there you have it my top 10 the best sneakers of 2015 let me know in the comments what are some of your favorites this year and thank you for watching i appreciate you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe. Got a lot of videos on the way. Not too much else to talk about though. So until next time, Mr. Former Simpson, out. <laughs>